So that was Air on the G-String by Bach. This is the second movement from his orchestral suite number three, BWV 1068. And I've arranged it here for um, intermediate classical guitar, uh, for people doing gigs, or for students looking for a, a playable arrangement. And what I've done is pretty much taken the first violin melody and written that out. And then I've taken the exact bass notes but uh, without the octave leaps. So we just have a descending line now to make sure that it fits on the, on the instrument, of course. So um, you can get my edition. There's a link for that in the description, or you can just uh, follow the lesson for free. Lots of different arrangements of this piece, but like I said, I tried to keep those two main lines, first violin and, and the bass, um, very, very accurate um, throughout the, the entire piece. Um, with just a couple of octave leaps in the in the cello part there. So whenever you have a piece like this um, with two very strong musical lines, uh, you'll want to probably play them individually. So you can play the upper line. Sustains for a while. Um, so you can practice that upper line all on its own to make sure you've shaped it the way that you want and that you're just hearing it nice and clearly. But in this piece, you'll also want to play the bass line. The bass line is, is um, eighth notes the entire time, so it's, it's very active and it really keeps the momentum of the piece um, moving forward at all times. So if you shape that bass line really nicely um, in those long moments of sustain in the upper part, um, you still have some musical uh, momentum and movement happening. So practicing just the bass line on its own. As soon as people hear that bass line, they know what piece it is, right? It also just really outlines the harmony of the piece. So you just want to make sure those two musical lines are very, uh, very secure. And then when you put them together, um, just try to maintain both of uh, those things. You know, a beautiful shaped upper melody, but also um, a bass line that is, um, has, has a feeling of forward motion, but calm uh, forward motion nevertheless. So let's just do a quick walkthrough of the piece. There's not too much else to say, except you should listen to the orchestral suite a lot and other arrangements on other instruments as your model. Um, the guitar is very percussive, so you wanna make sure that you're really thinking in these smoother um, uh, lines that you might hear from the orchestral suite. Here, if you find that stretch uncomfortable, just leave out one of the bass notes. You can even let go of it if you have to. Uh, but it, really, it's not so bad because you get to grab the note first. Stretch. I can reach the barre and uh, my more fourth finger. But if if you can't, just, just let go of that and, and make sure you get that F naturally. So I, I really um, hold on to both bass notes and play both of them, but like I said, edit it as you, as you need. Um, because there's activity on each beat, it's not, it's not a big deal. That grace note should just be played as a 16th note. to not sustain notes long enough because the sustain on the guitar is pretty weak to begin with. But just remember to hold the F all the way to here. It's, it's just easy to forget because the sound dies away so quick. but let's go on to bar seven. Yeah, just 
watch my fingering there. I would use your first finger so that one and two can just slide into the first fret easily. Quite a bit of counterpoint here. Or at least melody based action. sneak the second finger in there, just so you don't have to fumble about. So what I've written there at the end... Or Um, you might want to add a trill on the B and just dot the figures. So it'd be like C, C, B, C, B, C chord. Just makes a suspension from the previous C. It just, I, I feel it needs the trill in order to fill out the, the last bar there. But if that gives you trouble, just play it as, as written. So I hope you enjoyed that um, relatively straightforward arrangement, uh, but pretty intact as far as the original goes.